Sweden is known, I think, uh, at this time to have many new, interesting progressive rock bands. But when I started playing music and, and was in my first band, and my first professional band, that was actually a, a symphonic progressive rock band, there wasn't many bands in Sweden around, you know, uh, playing that type of music. And there was lots of different, I mean, jazz, fusion, blues, all that, but not many progressive rock bands. So, so we were kind of unique in that sense in the, in the mid-70s. The story of the name The Flower Kings is, is very simple, really. There wasn't really an idea of, of starting a band at the time. I was just making music, recording it, and, and had hopes to in some way release it and see if there was an audience. Um, but when I finished the album and, and um, there was time to, to name the album, I named that album The Flower King, and I had in the back of my head if, if it sort of find its way out to, to, to fans wherever they are. I thought, okay, if I, if I then start a band and play the music live, it should have a, a good band name. And I was just searching, you know, and writing down maybe 20, 25, 30 names, possible names of, of, of a band. And I, I simply like the name, you know. It's, uh, it's something positive and uh, just sounds right to me. A little bit of hippish. I'm, I'm not a hippie, but I, I like the the time, the era, you know, and it seemed like people were, you know, taking care of each other more than than they do nowadays. So, so the Flower King seemed like a very nice and positive name. <laughs>